Welcome to my channel. If you like my videos, then kindly subscribe, like, and watch. Thank you. Welcome back. Problem 9.20. So the statement is for the beam and loading shown determine the reaction at roller support. So you can see this is the figure of the problem 9.20. Uh, you have to find the reaction at this roller support. So this is RB. So what we have to find is RB. Again, if you draw the pre y diagram, so you have to remove the reaction. So definitely at our fixed support, there will be R A Y. There will be R A X. And there will be a moment at this point A. Clear? So you can see there are four unknowns and we have two equilibrium condition that sum of all force along uh, sum of all force is equal to zero and sum of all moment is equal to zero. So there are four unknowns and we have two equilibrium condition. So these reactions are statically indeterminate. Reactions are statically indeterminate. Clear? So we will, how we will solve it that we will section the beam clear and in order to find the moment equation and rest we will solve it. You will see and you will understand it in a Y. Let this distance is X clear. So the remaining this distance will be L minus X. So we will take this portion of the beam clear and let me draw it in the free Y diagram of this section beam. So this is point B, at point B there is a reaction support which is RB clear and this distance was L minus X and again if you section it there will be a shear force, here the shear force will be upward and there will be a reaction moment M and let this point is K. Now there is a distributed, uniformly distributed load over the beam. Here. So this is the free bar diagram of this cut section here and we will take uh, this sum of all moment about point K is equal to 0. Now you can see at point K there is a moment M reaction moment which is minus M clear and one uh, moment of this due to this reaction force which is counterclockwise so it will be positive so it will be equal to rb and perpendicular distance is l minus x clear and one moment is due to this distributed load now this distributed load is equal to w into length which is l minus x w into l minus x and you know that this distributed load when converted into point load it will be w into L minus X and it will be acting at a distance of L minus X divided by 2. So perpendicular distance is this one L into L minus X divided by 2. This, this is producing clockwise so it will be negative. So their sum must be equal to 0. So when you rearrange this in order to find this reaction moment, so this moment will be equal to Rb into L minus X minus 1 over 2 into L minus X whole square. So this is the moment equation for the section B beam. Clear? And we know that this Ei into D square Y over dx square is equal to moment and this moment is equal to rb into l minus x minus l minus x whole square divided by 2. So if you integrate it once you will get ei into dy by dx will be equal to 
R B into L minus X whole square divided by 2 and this will be L minus X whole cube divided by 6 plus C1. There is a constant of integration C1 is equal to equation number 1. If you integrate it again this equation 1 so you will get EI into y is equal to r b into l minus x whole cube over 6 minus l minus x whole 4 over 24 plus c 1 x plus c 2 and let this is equation number 2 clear now we have this C1 and C2 which are constant of integration and unknown we can find them by using boundary condition. So what are the boundary conditions? So if you look at the beam this end is fixed so at this end x is equal to 0 we have y is equal to 0 and at fixed end x is equal to 0 we have dy by dx is equal to 0. Similarly at this roller support at this end at x is equal to l we have y is equal to 0. So these are the three boundary condition which will be used in order to find c1 and c2. So let's move and put the boundary condition. Our first boundary condition is that at x is equal to 0 we have dy by dx is equal to 0. So what we will have to put in equation put in equation 1 uh, sorry in equation 1 okay so when you put dy by dx is equal to 0 this term will be equal to 0 and this term will be equal to r b into l square over 2 minus l cube over 6 plus c1 is equal to 0 equal to 0 Six. one I one thing which I forgotten forgotten over here is that this is W into this is W I have forgotten W over here so this is W and again there will be a W over here and W and W over here where so it will be equal to W L cube over 6 plus C1 so if you rearrange them so you will get C1 is equal to 1 over 2 RB into L square minus 1 over 6 W L cube so this is the value of C1 there now we will put the second boundary condition that at x is equal to 0 y is equal to 0 so put in it in equation 2 so when you put it in equation 2 x is equal to 0 y is equal to 0 so this term will be equal to 0 so 0 is equal to this will become equal to r b into l cube over 6 minus w into l4 over 24 plus c1x when c1 is 1 over 2 rb l square uh, okay one more thing is that when you put c1 and x so x is this term will become equal to 0 so no need to write this term okay so c1 into x is equal to this plus c2 so when you solve this layer so c2 will be equal to c2 is equal to 1 over minus 1 over 6 rb rb l cube 
प्लस वन ओवर ट्वेंटी फोर डब्ल्यू एल फोर नाउ यू कैन सी यू हैव सी वन एंड सी टू एज वेल क्लियर सो पुट इट इन इक्वेशन टू पुट सी वन एंड सी टू इन इक्वेशन टू वेन यू पुट C1 and C2 in equation 2, so you will have equation 2 is as e i into y is equal to r b into l minus x whole cube over 6 minus w into l minus x whole 4 over 24 plus C1 x, so C1 will be plus 1 over 2. R B into L square X minus one over six W L cube over X plus C two is minus one over six R B L cube plus one over twenty four W L four. Now this is the final equation, and we know that we have a one boundary condition that is left. Which is at x is equal to zero. Y, at x is equal to l, y is equal to zero. So we will put it in this equation. In this equation, there. So we will put x is equal to l, y is equal to zero. So this term will be equal to zero, and this will be equal to l minus l, which is zero. So this term will be zero again. This term will be equal to zero, and we will have this one over two r b into L cube minus one over six W L four minus one over six R B L cube plus one over twenty four W L four here and when you simplify this so the reaction sub reaction force at point B will be Three by eight W into L. So this was all about uh, problem nine point two, in which we have find out the reaction force at roller support B. Clear. I hope you have enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching.